the truth is that many of you are going to fail and you're probably not going to become self-taught programmers and you're probably not going to learn how to code on your own. And in this video, I want to talk about some of the reasons why I personally think that many people fail when they set out to learn how to code on their own and try to become self-taught programmers. The first reason is going to be that most people, when they come into this, they don't really have a plan or a path. If you fail to plan, plan the fail. That statement couldn't be any truer when it comes to learning how to code self-taught. So when you're first getting started, try to figure out what it is you want to do. And again, you might not exactly know what it is, but many people have somewhat of an idea. A lot of people might want to try to become game developers, or many people might want to build a mobile app, or some people just want to get into web dev. Depending on what it is, figure it out early and stick with it when you do. And just make sure to have a solid roadmap in place when you do decide to start learning how to code once you know what area of software development it is you want to get into. You can find roadmaps on Google. There's plenty of them on YouTube. Just type in game dev roadmap or web dev roadmap, and there's plenty of people who have videos on this subject. Trust me, it won't be hard to find the roadmap. The next thing I'm gonna say is this happens kind of early on when you start telling a lot of your friends and maybe even some family members that you wanna learn how to code and then you start hearing everyone tell you that no way, you're not gonna be able to do that. No, you're not smart enough. Uh, how are you gonna learn how to code? You're a high school dropout. You're gonna listen to a lot of those naysayers. You're gonna listen to the biggest naysayer of all, which is probably gonna be yourself. And the truth is that you don't wanna listen to any of those people. You don't wanna listen to all the people that are telling you that you're not going to be able to accomplish this because the truth is that it is doable and many people who set out to learn how to code do in fact become developers and get jobs as programmers or become freelancers you just got to make sure that you just don't listen to all the people that are telling you that you can't do it and listen to the people that are telling you that you can do it but the biggest thing is to convince yourself that you can do it because whether you think you can or you can't you're right and remember that the next thing is that you're likely to give up when it gets a little too hard. There's a lot of people and boot camps that are trying to sell you the dream that this is fast and easy. And the truth is that it's not fast and easy. And if you decided to go the traditional education route with going to college, you're going to spend two to four years in order to learn enough of this stuff to get hired. And when you're learning how to code on your own, it's even harder because you don't have that guidance of a college professor to tell you what to do or you don't have that guidance of a boot camp instructor telling you what to do but the truth is that you don't need those things you really can learn how to code on your own but it's going to be hard and you're going to fail if you give up when it starts to get hard and this is going to be hard like the whole way through it doesn't necessarily get easier after six months or a year i remember working into my first job and you know being a junior developer after learning how to code for 10 months and working at this his first job for like six months and still feeling like this was still very difficult and I was constantly learning and I was still struggling a lot and even now after I have five years of professional experience I still struggle some days and I still get stuck and it's still hard sometimes so remember if this was easy everyone would be doing it and it wouldn't pay much and the reason why software developer jobs pay so much is because it is hard work even though you're sitting in an office all day in the air conditioning behind a nice cushy desk it's not easy work it's mentally strenuous and it's difficult it also takes a very long time this stuff isn't quick to learn it's not something that you can do fast again there's plenty of people out there that are trying to sell you their boot camp or their courses that paint this as something that's quick and easy to learn but the truth is that this stuff takes a while to learn and it takes a long time to get that first job as a developer and even though there are some people out there that have done it in a short amount of time the truth is that that's not the norm for most people it takes a while like I mentioned it took me 10 months in order to get my first job self-taught and I spent a lot of time learning how to code I spent almost all my free time on my computer day in and day out teaching myself how to code. These things take a lot of time. You're gonna have to learn how to code and you're gonna have to do all those other things like setting up your resume, your portfolio, getting experience, getting your LinkedIn, applying for jobs, and all those things that you need to do in order to get hired. And if you don't give this stuff enough time, you're just gonna end up giving up. Another thing that kind of goes with this is that 
most people don't trust the process. The formula for learning how to code is out there. It's been out there since I set out to learn how to code. It's in every tutorial, it's in every course, it's in every boot camp and every YouTube video that you can imagine. You can Google it and you can literally get a step-by-step -step plan on how to get a job self-taught. The problem is that most people see these steps laid out in front of them, but they don't believe that it'll actually work for them and they don't trust the process. I know I went through a lot of that myself when I was learning how to code and I got lucky that I didn't, you know, get in my own head and I trusted the process and I just stuck to what I needed to do in order to get a job. And the last thing I want to say is that many people will go at this on their own for too long. Many people don't go out and network because they either feel imposter syndrome or they're shy or they're introverts or they're antisocial. Trust me, I don't like that stuff. I hate small talk. I hate having to meet new people. But one of the best things that I did was meeting other people that were learning how to code or people that were already developers who would attend these meetups. And I do feel that a lot of people who try to learn how to code self-taught fail because they don't go out and they don't step out of their comfort zone and they don't network. But there's just so many benefits that come with meeting people and talking with other developers when you're learning how to code that really help you so much in the process of becoming a self-taught developer. All right, with all that said, Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.